In this lesson, we will install the Spring Source Tool Suite IDE. So to begin, I'm just going to go to Google and type Spring Source Tool Suite, and then I'll head to the first result, and we'll get taken to this page. And here you'll see two options. You can download the Spring Tool Suite, or you can download the Groovy Grails Tool Suite. Now, you'll want to download the regular Spring Tool Suite, and just save that file somewhere where you can locate it. I'm not actually going to save because I have downloaded this file ahead of time. So once you have pulled down that file, simply open the installer, and then you'll be presented with the installation screen. So you'll see there's going to be eight steps. This first one, we just click Next. Now we need to agree to the license, so accept. And now you need to point to where you would like it to install. So I'm just going to install it to our desktop under the Spring Source folder. So I'll click Next, and it warns me that the directory will be created. And then you want to install each of our options here. So you want to put in Spring Tool Suite, and also the license information, and then the Pivotal TC server. That's actually a Tomcat server that Spring has outfitted. And now you just need to browse to your JDK. So I'll go into my 64-bit program files, into the Java folder, and I'm going to use JDK 1.7. Now we can click Next, and then it will begin the install. And once the installation is complete, simply click the Next button. And you can create shortcuts if you would like. I'm not going to. And then you can also launch Spring Tool Suite. Here we see the splash screen for the application. And it will now ask me to specify a directory I would like to store all of my projects and code within. So I'm just going to accept the default. This will put it within the Documents folder in a folder named Workspace STS 3.50 release. And now the application will begin to load. And there it is. One thing I'd like to point out about this software is that this IDE comes with Maven integration. So if we look, we see that the M2E plugin is already installed. So we will be using Maven to download our dependencies. So when we need a spring jar, we will use Maven to pull that jar file from the central repository. Now, if you have not done this before, don't worry, it's very easy, and you'll see how Maven can help us resolve our dependencies.